Da Jia Hao. Hello, everybody. My name is Garrick, and welcome back to Taiwan Lao Wai. So, for our first video, I introduced you to what a typical day market looks like in this country. For this video, I'm going to introduce you to the night markets. So the day markets are where you go to pick out ingredients and shop and do all your general grocery needs. The night markets are where you go to feast. There's tons of food stalls, a lot of snacks and treats. So I'm going to be heading up to one of the closest night markets to where I live. And I'm going to show you all the cool things you can find at places like this all throughout the country. See you there. First, I would like to introduce you to the rental bike service. This is U-Bike. You find U-Bike stations all throughout the country, all throughout the city. And these are the most convenient things ever. You know, all you need is a special card called an Easy Card. You load some cash onto it, you swipe it, and you have yourself a bike, which you can return at any station like this throughout the city. You know, it's convenient, there are places like this everywhere, and most importantly, it's very affordable. You can actually ride one of these for free. Uh, if your trip is less than like 25, 30 minutes, it won't cost you anything. And even if it's longer than that, it's still very affordable. The most I've paid on a single trip was like 20 NTD, which is less than one US dollar. And that was like a super long ride. So I'm going to take a rental bike up to my nearest night market and I'm gonna show you what it's all about. See you there. All right, we just biked for 25 minutes or thereabouts. Cost zero NTD. Told you it was great. So we are on our way to the Central Taiwan Night Market. Uh, it is currently around 6.30. Uh, the traffic is in full swing and we are in the downtown part of the city. Uh, as you can tell, the buildings are a little busier. You can see some skyscrapers up in the distance. So yeah, this is sort of the, the central hub of Taiwan City, where all the, the big metropolitan stuff is. And the night market we are going to is just a block or two ahead. So I will see you there. Also, the thought occurs to me that my first few videos have been very food heavy. And I just want to make it clear that not all of my videos on this channel are going to revolve around food. It's just, uh, when I go to a new place, I like to experience uh, new cultures through the food and what interesting things there are to eat. So food is the first thing I tend to go to, but there will be videos about other things, I promise. And we have arrived. Welcome to the Taoyuan Night Market. There's already tons of stuff to see, so I'm just gonna walk and I'm going to direct your attention to anything cool that catches my eye. Okay, we gotta get some takoyaki. It's been too long since I've had some. All right, my takoyaki is taking some time to cook, so in the meantime, I went and got myself a corn dog. Uh, there's a pretty big corn dog culture in Asia, believe it or not. And this is just, you know, slathered in honey mustard, which is, in my opinion, the superior mustard. So yeah. It is hard to film and eat at the same time. All right, so I'm gonna pop a squat down here. I'm gonna take a few bites of corn dog. Then I'm gonna go check on my takoyaki. Let's hope it's good. Yeah, I, I really developed a taste for corn dogs over here. Believe it or not. Hmm. Is there like the something like the opposite of a brain freeze where? Your stomach just gets fiery hot because that's what I'm experiencing right now. It's really good though. Hot dogs warm all the way through. The batter isn't too thick. It's still got that nice corn, corn ready crumb. And the honey mustard is just so thick and luscious. Seriously, if you ever vacation in an Asian country, check out the corn dogs. They are so much better than you have any right to believe. 
the lady at the corn dog stand was really nice too. Uh, she spoke a little English, so we communicated a bit, and uh, she asked me, you know, when asking about sauce, is it what sauce do you want or which sauce do you want? And I had to tell her, you know, both are okay, <laughs> really. People in Taiwan really are nice, I have found. Like, I have yet to meet a single mean or just rude person in Taiwan anywhere. Okay, takoyaki is done. Uh, I went with the garlic flavor, so there's like a little garlic mayo and some powdered garlic on top. For those of you who don't know what takoyaki even is, it's uh, octopus fritters. You know, there's a big piece of octopus inside each of these little fried balls. It's a classic Japanese uh, street food before anything else, but t uh, Taiwan is a bit of a cultural blend of cuisines from a lot of different Asian countries, so you'll find takoyaki at pretty much every night market you stumble across. All right, takoyaki don't last long, so you really have to eat them while they're still hot. So we're gonna go do that. Bottoms up. Oh. Oh, hot. Oh, hot. It's a difficulty with eating takoyaki is that they are so molten inside. It's like, it's like eating a lava ball, almost with like a, a piece of octopus in the middle. But these are really tasty. You know, they're still hot out of the fryer, so they're still crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside. There's the bite from the single big piece of octopus in the middle. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Those guys must have fallen off. Now, these are very precarious to eat, but they are very tasty. Oh. So just to recap, uh, that big corn dog with honey mustard was 60 NTD, and uh, these six takoyaki balls were 50 NTD. So all together I have spent 110 NTD in the course of one night, which is about average for two snacks from a night market. They're not always the cheapest option, but they are plenty tasty, and as long as you aren't like buying everything you come across, which can be hard to do, admittedly, and now you'll get a, a very nice dinner, very nice dinner for a very affordable price. So definitely visit a night market once or twice. Okay, that was a lot of fried food and now I am thirsty. So we are gonna go find something to drink. So you find stands like this uh, all throughout Taiwan. These are super common. And these are like skewer snack food stands. You pick whichever skewers you want from what they have and they they fry them up on the spot in hot oil maybe toss them with a little uh, spicy seasoning and you just sort of eat as you walk this is like classic quick and dirty eats like if you're ever in a pinch and it's late night look for one of these you'll get some hot tasty food and as you can see they have like fish balls vegetables chicken mushrooms some fried sweet potato back there they got they got all sorts of stuff okay thirst quencher acquired this is papaya milk uh, it's blended up from fresh papaya, milk, a little brown sugar, and yeah. Fruit milk is a pretty big thing in Taiwan. They've got like, they've got banana milk, papaya milk, I think I've seen watermelon milk as well. They're just all sorts of fruits they turn into milk. And this is quite nice. You know, it's, it's refreshing, it's light, you can taste the papaya. It's just good thirst quencher material. Uh, 50 NTD, not too bad for a cup this size. I'm gonna chow down. Or slurp down, I guess? Something like that? Anyway. More takoyaki. Like I said, you go to a night market, it's takoyaki everywhere. These are really fun. These are candied fruit and tomato skewers. This is something else you see in pretty much every night market. So up here we have candied tomatoes. Uh, we've got some candied chestnuts over here. Looks like sort of big dried grapes. Strawberries, oranges, little green grapes. Yeah, these are like a very good quick dessert option. They're quite tasty. Still have not worked up the courage uh, to try stinky tofu. Maybe one day. 
Okay, super quick donut break time. I found myself a donut vendor. This is definitely on the pricier side for donuts. This is like 40 NTD. Uh, I found donuts that are like 20 NTD, so... But I'm sure it'll still be tasty. Let's find out. Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's why it's pricier than normal. There's like... Don't know if you can see from this, but there's like, I think, peanut? Some sort of like, sweet peanut paste inside? The donut itself is almost like, like mochi, I want to say. That kind of consistency. And then there's a, a mildly sweet peanut paste stuffed inside that I'm getting with every bite. Nice little snack. I approve. Okay, actually forget peanuts. I think this is closer to walnuts. Still tasty though. And not too sweet either. It's like a sort of a mildly sweet snack. So one thing I just passed by that I didn't get a good shot of uh, because I didn't want to disturb the vendors was uh, a quail egg stand. And that is something else that you see in basically every night market or food stall. They like stick quail eggs on tiny little skewers, you know, cook them up so they're like tiny little fried quail eggs on a skewer, and then you can sprinkle on different salts, you can put on different sauces. It's a very nice little snack. Uh, I've had it a few times, I'm not in the mood for it right now, but the option is there pretty much anywhere you go with, with tons of food stalls like this. On that subject, I'm actually starting to get pretty full. I think I have enough room for one more delicious food item. So I am going to see what I track down. Okay, last food item acquired. This is a fruit jelly popsicle. Uh, this is another stand that you see a lot of in night markets. It's just, you know, it's, it's jelly fruit in the shape of a popsicle. Look at it wobble. I'm actually not sure which fruit this is. Uh, I did not look at the sign too closely, but they're all tasty, so can't go wrong. It's very nice. It's like a nice, refreshing bite to end off a night of such heavy fried food. Still can't quite tell what fruit it is. I want to say maybe either mango or star fruit, maybe jackfruit. Not quite sure, but it's nice, it's refreshing, and my mask just fell off. Let me grab that. And that, I think, will do us for tonight. I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna bike the same way I came, I'm gonna relax, and I'm going to have myself a very pleasant weekend. Thank you all once more for joining me at Taiwan Laowai. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. I have videos every Friday is the schedule I'm trying to meet. We'll see if I can actually meet it. And as always, Saijian. Bye-bye. Actually, I forgot to mention, uh, this was just 15 NTD, so less than one US dollar. Which means altogether I spent 215 NTD on dinner tonight. Which for a night market, it's pretty solid. Okay, for real this time. Saijian. Bye bye.